G'day guys, Scotty here. Got another video for you. Another destruction video. This time, I'm destroying one of these. Now you've seen me destroy a fair few different bits of um, climbing, abseiling equipment, carabiners and whatnot. This time, I'm going to destroy one of these. Just interested to see how it would go. It's rated at 26 kilonewtons. Um, my guess is it'll do 32 kilonewtons before it uh, before it flies apart in pieces. What's your guess? Let me know if you get your if you get it right or close. Um, but for now, let's get into it. I've got my uh, jig set up here. So I'm a load cell down here and just a little utility winch over here. Little three to one system set up. A couple of bits of metal to support it, a few blocks of timber to support it all so it doesn't go flying all over the place. Um, so I'll get myself set up and we'll uh, destroy this little this little piece of aluminium. Bit of Chineseium. Let's see how it goes. Loads off it. Zero it. We're good to go. I know. So there, there's this 21, 28, uh, well, it's 26, 26 kilonewtons it's rated at, so we've passed that already. It's 28, 29. Ooh, bam. Well, there you go, it didn't quite make it to uh, the 3200 that I thought it would go to. 29. Well, that was fun. Uh, hope some of you people get something out of that. Coming up soon on this machine, we'll get this one snapped. This, uh, this soft shackle made of 10 millimeter Dyneema, um, old school version that I've made myself. And also going to do one of these Chinese made soft shackles that somebody uh, requested. Also made of 10 millimeter Dyneema, but they're a little bit different construction, so this should be a little bit stronger. Yeah, I'm expecting somewhere around about mm, 15 ton out of that one. And I'm expecting somewhere around about 17, 18 ton out of this one. So, chuck us a subscribe and uh, you'll catch those videos when they pop up. Cheers. Right, just in case you're interested to see what snapped, it snapped from the top here. This bit tore open. Once that popped out, and it flexed apart, and it snapped this little uh, I don't know what you call that little little swage type thing that sits over the top of the pin. And, uh, allowed that to pop off, and that was just a little washer that was in there to stop friction. So yeah. Snap the other top there. Interesting.